In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform a collaborator review using Eclipse. The Eclipse plugin is great because it allows you to not only create the review, but also participate in the review using the plugin and the collaborator perspective. This enables you to stay in Eclipse for the entire review experience. Collaborator's Eclipse plugin supports SCM integration with Acura, Clearcase, Perforce, Subversion, and Rational Team Concert. In this video, we'll be using Subversion as the SCM. Let's get started by creating a review. To create the review, we'll right-click on the package and choose Team Add to Review. The Add Files Review GUI is launched. We'll specify a name and click Next. Since the files in this package have been modified, they are automatically added to the list. Unchanged files can be added by clicking Show Unchanged Files. Once the files are selected, click Next. Here, supporting documents can be added. A good example might be a review checklist. Clicking Next again shows the summary screen. Clicking Finish begins the review creation process. Select Yes to open the Collaborator perspective. Now it's time to fill in the review details and begin the review. Select the appropriate template and group information if applicable. Next, assign review participants. You can have as many as you need. You can select them by grabbing a hold of them and dragging them right into the box whether they are reviewers or observers. Save your settings and then scroll down and choose Begin Review or Annotate Review. This will be based on your typical review workflow. We'll use Begin Review for this scenario. Now that the review has started and entered into the inspection phase, participants are receiving notifications via email or RSS. If those participants are using Eclipse, they can perform the review in Eclipse. If they are not Eclipse users, then they can use the Collaborator Web UI. We'll use the Web UI to illustrate a review participant for this demonstration. Remember that the author is free to start working on some other project while they are waiting for participants to respond. Opening the reviewer's web browser, we can see the newly assigned review on the dashboard. Clicking on the review shows the reviewer all of the information about this review. Scrolling down, the reviewer can see all of the files that have been attached to this review. We'll have the reviewer make a few comments and file a defect that the author needs to address. Once the reviewer has finished reviewing all of the files, then they can return to the review summary screen. Clicking Approve puts the review into the rework phase, notifying the author that they need to make some changes. Returning to Bob our author's Eclipse view, we can see that a defect has been logged and that there are some comments that have been made on the primeutils.java file. Clicking on the file opens the diff view. Bob the author can respond directly to the comments via the conversation area on the left. The author can make changes to the file by clicking the drop-down menu and selecting Local File, or they can return to the appropriate perspective and open the individual file. Notice that the files have green check marks indicating that they are under review. Also notice that the defect is indicated with the bug icon, and mousing over it displays the information concerning that item. The author can then make the appropriate changes. Once the author makes the changes to the file, then they can save the changes and attach them to the review. To attach the files to the review, they will return to the package, right-click, choose Team, and then click Add to Review. Rather than creating a new review, the author will attach the files to the existing Changes to Prime review. Clicking Next shows the files that have been modified. Clicking Next again gives the opportunity to attach additional supporting documentation. Finally, clicking Next the last time allows us to see the summary screen. We'll click Finish and have the files attached to the review. Now that the files are attached, we'll go to the Collaborator Perspective. Once the Collaborator Perspective is open, the author can scroll down and click on Defects Fixed Proceed to Verification. This will put the review back into the inspection phase. Let's return to our reviewer's browser. As can be seen by the phase diagram, the review has returned to the inspection phase. Scrolling down and clicking on the reworked file, the reviewer can see all of the changes that were made by the author. 
The reviewer can navigate to those changes by clicking on the Previous and Next options, scrolling down through the file on the right, or scrolling down through the conversations and clicking on them. The reviewer is responsible for ensuring that all of the defects have been addressed. If they have, then the reviewer can mark them as fixed. Once all of the files have been reviewed, and all of the items have been addressed, then the reviewer can return to the Review Summary screen. Returning to the Review Summary screen, we can see that all of the items have been addressed and that there are no more open defects. Clicking Approve puts the review into the completed phase. If this is a pre-commit review, then the author will need to commit their changes. If this is a post-commit review, then there is nothing else that needs to occur. The Eclipse plugin simplifies the review process by allowing the participants to stay within the context of the IDE to perform reviews. For additional information concerning the Collaborator Eclipse plugin or any other aspect of the Collaborator tool, there is a contextual help documentation located in the upper right-hand corner of your Collaborator web UI. Additionally, you can contact your account manager, our support team, or you can visit www.smartbear.com. Thanks for watching.